Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, June 23rd. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Give to the Lord the glory and strength. Give him the honor due his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. O come, let us worship him. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you, when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there were none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I could count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Our Old Testament reading today is from Proverbs chapter 27, beginning in verse 1. Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Let another praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger and not your own lips. A stone is heavy and sand is weighty, but a fool's provocation is heavier than both. Wrath is cruel, anger is overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Faithful are the words of a friend. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Profuse are the kisses of an enemy. One who is full loathes honey, but to one who is hungry everything bitter is sweet. Like a bird that strays from its nest is a man who strays from his home. Oil and perfume make the heart glad, and the sweetness of a friend comes from his earnest counsel. Do not forsake your friend and your father's friend, and do not go to your brother's house in the day of your calamity. Better is a neighbor who is near than a brother who is far away. Be wise, my son, and make my heart glad, that I may answer him who reproaches me. The prudent sees danger and hides himself, but the simple go on and suffer for it. Take a man's garment when he has put up security for a stranger, and hold it in pledge when he puts up security for an adulteress. Whoever blesses his neighbor with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, will be counted as cursing. A continual dripping on a rainy day and a quarrelsome wife are alike. To restrain her is to restrain the wind, or to grasp oil in one's right hand. Iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. Whoever tends a fig tree will eat its fruit, and he who guards his master will be honored. As in water, face reflects face, so the heart of man reflects the man. Sheol and Abaddon are never satisfied, and never satisfied are the eyes of man. The crucible is for silver and the furnace for gold, and a man is tested by his praise. Crush a fool in a mortar with a pestle, along with crushed grain, yet his folly will not depart from him. Know well the condition of your flocks, and give attention to your herds. For riches do not last forever, and does a crown endure to all generations? Our writing this morning is from the Small Called Articles, the last part of the Book of Concord, which Martin Luther wrote himself. He wrote it as his sort of last will and testament, his final confession of faith uh, before uh, he died. And it was for a... Uh, ecumenical council like the Council of Nicaea, Vatican II, that was going to be held uh, at Smallcald, uh, but that never happened. 
uh, but we put it in our uh, Book of Concord anyway, uh, and it's it's really good. It's it's good Luther and it's good uh, good Lutheran confession. Uh, well worth reading. We'll be reading that uh, probably next after we finish the Sacrament of the Altar and the large large Catechism for our evening readings. The chief article. The first and chief article is this. Jesus Christ, our God and Lord, died for our sins and was raised again for our justification. He alone is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, and God has laid upon him the iniquities of us all. All have sinned and are justified freely, without their own works or merits, by his grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus in his blood. This is necessary to believe. This cannot be otherwise acquired or grasped by any work, law, or merit. Therefore, it is clear and certain that this faith alone justifies us, as St. Paul says. For we hold that one is justified by faith apart from works of the law, Romans 3.28, that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus, Romans 3.26. Nothing of this article can be yielded or surrendered, even though heaven and earth and everything else falls, Mark 13.31. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved, Acts 4.12, and with his stripes we are healed, Isaiah 53.5. Upon this article everything that we teach and practice depends, in opposition to the Pope, the devil, and the whole world. Therefore we must be certain and not doubt this doctrine, otherwise all is lost, and the Pope, the devil, and all adversaries win the victory and the right over us. We join in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we praise your fathomless mercy, with which you take pity on sinful men. All the prophets and apostles preach this to us in your holy word. Let our hope not be put to shame when we pray to you for all who suffer at this time. For behold, the evil foe has become mighty, and the great ones of this world rule often with unrighteousness. O God, who in former times caused your saints to overcome injustice, strengthen also today all who stand in need of your help. Grant that all prisoners of war, held as slaves and sacrifices of earthly wrath, may return to their home. Stand by all refugees and homeless people, and be their justice. Be a father to the widows and orphans with your strong protection. Go through bars and fences to those who are imprisoned for the sake of your name. Strengthen them for a good witness, and let them not waver in the confession of your name. Teach us through their example and the example of so many holy martyrs to be ever watchful of the confession of your son's name. Let us not be put to shame when the evil foe lays his hand on us. But, if it is your will that we be persecuted for confessing Jesus as our Lord and only Savior, then support us in your grace, that we may withstand all trials, and grant us peaceful rest, through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, you overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. We humbly pray that we may, 
live before you in righteousness and purity forever. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this night. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed day.